Hello everyone, welcome to Sushma's Kitchen. Today is Mahashivratri, so everyone will be fasting. Uh, most of the people will be uh, making fasting. And uh, I thought I'll uh, make some healthy food uh, for the people who is fasting and uh, celebrating the Mahashivratri. Today I'm going to show you uh, Sabudana Kheer and Sabudana Kichdi. Hope you will like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. First we need to fry the peanuts. That is... Uh, peanuts uh, we need to fry and we have to grind them roughly don't uh, grind it to smooth powder just roughly just for uh, two seconds you just grind it and I have taken here um, sabudana that is sago um, I have soaked this for one hour more than an hour and now it is uh, dry we need to take out the water fully and uh, make it dry uh, so that the water won't be there and uh, it won't get sticky now i have roasted the uh, made the powder of the peanuts i need to mix them both together the sabudana and the peanut powder Now I have taken a pan for frying the sabadana and everything. I have taken 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and uh, urad dal 1 teaspoon and chana dal 1 teaspoon and some curry leaves and in goes uh, the green chilies, red chilies and some cashew nuts. This is a very easy recipe and uh, it's good for health also whoever is fasting uh, it's uh, because uh, the sabudana has a good starch and everything so it's good for the fasting people and uh, now i have put the mixture of the sabudana and uh, peanuts and i had to fry this for two to three minutes then close the lid uh, I'm adding salt and turmeric also in this. If you want, you can add some uh, potatoes and everything. I have let it cook for two minutes. I have closed the lid. Uh, now I have to stir well again. Now let this fry for another two minutes. Then it is done. It is very easy recipe and healthy recipe also. Hope you like this. Now I'm going to show you how to make the sabadana kheer. First I have taken 2-3 um, cups of water and I'm boiling it. And then this goes the soaked sabadana which I have soaked for half an hour. I'm putting this in the boiling water. And we have to cook it this for five minutes till it becomes thick and the uh, sabadana will become transparent when it is transparent it is it means it is cooked see now it is cooked it has become thick now at this stage we need to off the flame uh, we shouldn't uh, pour the milk now because it will split and it will curdle. Uh, so first let it cool for uh, 10 minutes. When it is lukewarm add the milk and stir nicely. See, I, you can see them. Now we need to let this boil for another 5 to 10 minutes. This is a very easy recipe. I'm adding 1 cup of sugar. And how much ever you require, you can add. It's up to your taste. 
stir it continue uh, oftenly like uh, in between and i'm adding the cardamom powder see now you can see it is fully boiled the sabudana is cooked well now i'm going to add the fried cashew nuts and the raisins i have fried them in little bit of ghee and i've added them now after 2 minutes we can off the flame and the sabudana kheer is ready to serve 